Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of Euro USD for Monday. If you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So, let's get started. So, my dear friends, this is the hourly chart of Euro USD. And Euro USD, after making a high of 1.0980, ultimately settled at or closed at 1.0934. This is the last traded price of euro usd when the market was in downtrend okay and market was trading somewhere around here we discuss about the possibility of a trend reversal many of you email that you have taken a sell and you were trying penny to write the trend and hopefully you are still doing well because those okay those who took a buy here especially the swing and positional traders you must be doing pretty well big and if we try to understand the market emotion the further upside is still very much possible okay because the market is bullish and respecting the trend of the market considering the overall market sentiment it's better to buy a dip if you already have taken a buy position if you already have an ongoing buy be on the trade no need to exit but if you're looking for fresh position then obviously buying at retracement is the safe trading strategy for you now we can see here dollar slides and gold gains on soft US unemployment report. Uh, you must be knowing that after NFP market was volatile, we saw a big drop on DXY. There was a big news in the market, but ultimately DXY dropped middle of 102.30. You can see here Euro extends gains to new seven week high. The Euro extended its gains above the 1.09 level reaching its strongest point since mid-gen supported by broad dollar weakness after the u.s jobs data coupled with somewhat dovish remarks by fed chair powell boosted expectations that the federal reserve could begin cutting interest rates by the middle of this year you can see ecb president lagarde told journalists that policymakers did not discuss rate cuts for this meeting but hinted at the beginning of discussions uh, regarding the relaxation of the bank's restrictive stance so in comparison to dollar okay um if uh, euro or sterling or gbp okay they are bullish right now so as a result we can expect that in the coming days or in the coming week also there will be upside on euro usd gbp usd if you look at the chart of dollar index us dollar index dxy we can clearly see the market is down both fundamentally and technically okay sellers are dominating so right after the market opening if we see upside on dxy do not consider it as a trend reversal trend reversal is a different thing okay it will be just a temporary retracement or recovery once dxy will be hitting 103 to 103.20 things will not be positive because we have got good sellers present around this area why because the previous support will be working as resistance here and once the market will reverse you can plan your trades accordingly and right after the market opening if you see dxy continuing the downside the next support is around 102 102.10 but market sentiment is above all so max to max you can expect a bounce around the support and then dxy continuing the downside if that happens, obviously we will see further upside on Euro USD, GBP USD, and others. So, my dear friends, keep your one eye on DXY. And my dear friends, if you're tired of telegram signals and looking for a proper solution, then you can definitely check out Chart Prime. Chart Prime not only generates signals on your screen like this, but also helps you analyzing the market better and takes your trading to the next level. You can see with the help of Market Oracle Pro, you can generate buy and sell signals on the screen like this and with the help of prime oscillator pro you can not only find out the overbought and oversold levels but it also tells you about the trend reversal levels and also tells you or shows you the divergences if you uh, prefer to trade on momentum then yes the ready-made divergences on the oscillator can be a big help this is the website of chart prime and my dear friends you can see they have three indicators market oracle pro market dynamics and prime oscillator pro you can go to their tutorials page to find out more about the indicators how they work what are the accuracy 
and you can see their community is very helpful and also very happy with the performance and they have three plans right now premium monthly premium quarterly premium yearly at first you can go with a premium monthly because they have a seven days money back guarantee if you're not happy with the service if you feel that this is not your cup of tea then you can obviously get the money back but if it really suits you or your trading style then yes you can go higher isn't it so definitely check out chart prime the link is in the description this is the hourly chart of euro usd in front of us as i said if you already have a buy be on the trade no need to exit further upside is possible and if you're looking for fresh position then buy at retracement is the best trading strategy so right after market opening if you see market is coming down then your first level is around 1.0910 Around 1.0910, you have the first support because of FIBO 23.6% retracement level. If the volatility of the market is low, if market acts like a typical Monday market, you can expect some support around this area. Once the market will be taking support and market will try to bounce back, market will show price action from below. You'll get a confirmation that, okay, market is trying to take support. You can hit the buy button. But on the other hand, if you see the right after the market opening, market is coming down with big red candles. Do you think you should go for a buy? Obviously, no. If you see the market is standing at 1.0910 with a big red candle, obviously it's, it's not a buy position. In that case, your next buying opportunity will be around 1.0870. 1.0870, because of previous support around this area, we have the 200 moving average and the previous resistance will also be acting as support if we combine all the factors especially in this market condition if market comes down also with heavy selling pressure 1.0870 or around 1.0870 we can expect a bias to be active and if market takes support we can definitely go for a buy position and if the market is not very volatile we can observe the market around 1.0910 area Sometimes market is so bullish that market doesn't come for retracement. You must be knowing it. Okay. In that case, okay, buying and breakout is the only trading strategy that is left for us. One and here, market's previous high was 1.0980. So if market breaks 1.0980, okay, we we can look for a buy above it, but this will be a little bit tricky. Because if we go to the daily chart of Euro USC, no doubt market is bullish, but you can see market has shown considerable price rejection around this area previously. So if you go for a buy at breakout, if you go for a buy, a buy above 1.0980, please follow strict risk management because if market reverses, you will be in trouble. Okay, so be careful if you go for a buy at breakout. And as I said, buy at retracement is the best trading strategy rest the market opening will tell us now let's look at the chart of gbp usd british pound us dollar gbp usd is chart was pathetic when market was trading around these areas and market was sideways market was choppy we had no clear numbers but right now we can see gbp usd is extremely bullish so here also similar stuff if you have a buy if you're holding your buy be on the trade because further upside is possible and if you're looking for safe entry and if you're looking for sorry not a fresh entry then buy at breakout is the best trading strategy for you as well you can see sterling hits fresh seven and a half months high the british pound is towards the 1.29 mark reaching its highest level since july 26 by uh buoyed by broad dollar weakness and optimistic forecast for the u.s economy the bank of england is expected to delay its first rate cut until august so these are the market sentiments going on for gbp and you can expect further upside on gbp usd as well so here also the market opening is going to be very very important right after market opening if you see the market is showing small small red candles it means that market is coming for retracement in that case you can look for a buy around 1.2800 if you see around 1.2800 the market is taking support you will get a confirmation that okay we have buyers around this area and he can hit the buy button same like euro usd okay if you see that instead of market coming for retracement market is coming down with big red candles in that case you can look for buy around one point two seven five zero this is the 
second support on GBP USC. These are the two levels where we can look for buy at retracement if GBP USC comes down after the market opening. See, we are um, considering 1.2800 from FIBO here, 23.6 percent retracement level, and 1.2750 is the FIBO 38.2 percent retracement level. Along with that, you can also see 1.2750 is also the previous resistance that will be working as support. Similar to other pairs, if JPUSC doesn't come for retracement, here you can go for a buy at breakout above 1.2900. If JPUSC breaks the level and market is very bullish, you can look for buy at breakout as well. But be careful because buying at breakout is a little bit riskier because we have a fear of a false breakout. We can see if market breaks 1.2900, it will be heading towards the next resistance of 1.3000. But before that, okay, before that, you can exit around 1.2970, 1.2980, the next resistance. Okay. So let's wait and watch. Here also, the market opening is going to be very, very important. If you're having or holding a buy, be on the trade, further upset possible. But looking for fresh position, then wait for the market to retrace. These are the two retracement levels. And if market breaks the level, you can go for buy it breakout, but be careful because of false breakout. Okay, so um, that's all from my side, my dear friends. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care.